Okay, in the last video, we started to explore like exponents and powers, and uh, you know, I burnt my lunch. So let's just continue uh, going on with that. And remember, basically, in the last video, uh, we we, we kind of used this example. Um, basically, it, we want to get rid of this power. Okay, the, you know, the exponent. The same thing we did here. We took the natural log. Okay, and then we took the limit. Okay. The only thing we have to really remember to do is, since we're taking the natural log of one of these functions, um, it is not, you know, our final, our limit is not technically the answer. We have to raise that limit, um, you know, to, well, we, we have to raise e up to that limit, okay? So, so basically, here we go. Here's that function again, and this is what we're taking the limit of, okay? I took the natural log of both sides, and I arrived here. Now, taking the uh, natural log of both sides enables me to use this logarithm power rule. Okay, I'm going to start over here with it. Okay, so we got 1 over x, and then we got natural log of 2 minus e to the x. Okay, so that is actually what we're going to take our limit of. Okay, and in this case, what? It was in. Was it infinity or zero? Um, it was zero, I'm sorry. It's zero. Okay. So let's see here. Um, let's look for an indeterminate form. So the top will have what? This, is, this goes to one. So we get natural log of one over zero. And that is, that's indeterminate form. So now we're good. So now we kind of transformed from here uh, down to this guy. Okay, so now all we have to do is really we just have to differentiate the top and the bottom. So, um, our new limit is 1 over 2 minus e to the x and I guess we're going to go like that. I, I just took the derivative of this, used the chain rule, you know, uh, reciprocal of the inside, and then I took the derivative of the inside. Um, looks like the bottom uh, just goes to one, so I don't really even have to rewrite it. Okay, so I've got that right there. And if I take if I take the limit here, what do I get? I get I get e to the zero is negative one, and then I get two minus one, and that right there that is negative one over one, which is just negative one. Okay, so basically what I did, I transformed this. Oh, I'm kind of running off the paper, sorry. So I transformed this, okay. Um, in, in, I, basically, just like I've been telling you all along, we, we, our goal is to get this form right here, okay. And we did that by using a natural logarithm, okay. Um, then when I did that, um, I used L'Hopital's rule, okay. And I ended up with this uh, um, expression right here. Um, and now it's okay to go ahead and evaluate it, and I ended up with negative 1. Negative 1 is not the answer, though. The answer is e to the negative 1. That, that's what the limit is, okay? So, right there. That is how you got that one. So, let's, um, let's kind of build, and let's do one more. I think I have time. And what are we going to do? Let's go limit Oh no, I'm sorry, it's just it's just three X. Okay, I copied that one down. Okay, so we got so here we go, we got this guy right here, so let's just plug things in right away and see what happens. Um, we plug infinity in, you know, um, a as this uh, tends to infinity, this will actually turn to zero, so it looks like we'll have one, and then three uh, x as it goes to infinity turns into infinity. Um, I mean, it, it's, I mean, you know, intuitively, you'd think that, hey, just it's just one, but this is actually classified as an indeterminate form, okay? So that means that that may or may not be the answer. So 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna write the function out and take the log of both sides, and I'm just gonna do it in one step. And I'm also gonna I think I'm gonna rewrite this just because I know we're gonna have to take some derivatives. So I have an indeterminate form. It's okay to use L'Hopital's rule. However, uh, this indeterminate form is a little di different. I'm looking for this one or this one. Okay, these are the better of the two. So now that I've got that done, I can use my logarithm power rule. I can put this 3x in front of the natural log, like so, and then I can take the limit of it. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to use a different pen and just to save time really as x goes to infinity uh, what do I get? Well it looks like I get infinity times natural log of 1 which is 0 okay well that's also an indeterminate form um, so next thing I want to do is I want to think about any way I might may be able to rewrite that And really, I can actually just do this. I mean, that, you know, that, that's it's almost like cheating, really. I mean, that wasn't too bad at all. So now I get natural log of 1, which is 0, um, at 1 over infinity is basically what this goes into. So that also per turns into 0. And this is the one I'm looking for. This is, this is much uh, more user-friendly. So now that that happened, I can go ahead and use L'Hopital's rule. I do derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom. And I'm actually just going to write rewrite this just because it's a little easier to work with exponents than fractions. So I'm going to go, let's see, we're going to go 1 over, that's just the uh, derivative of natural log. But I'm not done yet. It looks like it's going to end up being negative 2 x and negative 2 uh, kind of looks a little weird I'm just don't want to have to rewrite the whole thing again and we're gonna divide that by negative 1 third x and negative 2 okay so really this is equal to multiplied by let's see here 3 negative x to the negative half, or negative, yeah, you get that. So um, this negative will cancel out, and this will cancel out. So I'm left with 6 over 1 plus 2 over x. Okay, and here's what I want to take my limit of. Okay, and I hope I'm not really confusing anybody here. Okay, so I got that going, and as this tends to infinity, it's going to turn into zero. So it's actually, this limit's going to be six. Okay, you see how I did that? I just, I went through here, and I, re I rewrote this in the indeterminate form. You know, I think, I think that worked out okay. This is where it just got a little icky, just because it was a messy derivative. Okay, but I, I just simplified it, and I end up with six. So my limit is actually e raised to the power of six, okay? That is the limit of this one, okay? And since these are kind of confusing and they take examples, um, I might even make another video on this one.